Watch you guys got another video can't log into Windows 11 this also happens to Windows 10 it's called something happened and your pin isn't available click to set up your pin again it doesn't matter if you click on sign in options and try to set up your pin it will just bring you straight back to this login page here where you'll get something happened and your pin isn't available so I'm going to show you how to quickly resolve this what you need to do first is go down to the bottom right and hold your left shift key hold that down and click restart so restart anyway and keep continuing holding the left shift key on your pc and this will take us straight into the recovery page here you can also shut your pc down full shut down your pc three or four times and it will take you straight into this location as well so once you get into this choose an option page here we're going to come down to where it says troubleshoot Click on this one and then come down to advanced options. And what we're looking for here is command prompt. So once you're inside the command prompt here, what we're going to do is put in a couple of commands. So pretty simple. All you need to do here is put net space user and then space administrator. And once you've typed out administrator here, do space forward slash active. And then you can put colon and then yes and this will make the administrator account active if you need to get into the administrator account another thing you can do is put reg edit here and type reg edit out and this will open up the registry editor from here what we're going to do is we're going to click on where it says h key local machine and go to file and then load hive so click on the load hive and what we need to do is navigate to the system 32 directory now you need to click on this PC and what we're going to do is navigate to it. So let's go this PC, C drive, and then come down to where it says Windows, then System32. So find System32, it's just down the bottom here. And once we get System32, click on this one. And we now need to go into Config. So find Config, click on Config and enter that directory. Now what we need to do is select the software. So select software here and click open. This will open up the load hive window saying key name. What you need to do here is call this M software, just like so. And once we've done that, we can click OK. Now inside the H key local machine, if we drop this down here, you should see the M software. So click on the M software now and open this up. And what we're going to do here is navigate to Microsoft, open this one up here, and I'll just expand this a little bit. And then what we need to do is drill all the way down till we see Windows NT. So we'll find Windows NT should be down near the bottom, near W. So let's go down here and click on Windows NT. There it is right there. And once we open this one up here, we're going to go current version, open this up. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down to where we see password less. So it should be down under the P section. There we go. So there it is right there, password less. And we can open this up and there should be device in here. Click on device. And on the right hand pane, you should see a registry edit here, what we're going to go in for. So this one is for device password less build version. And you see it's got a value of two. So we're going to put a value of zero. And what we're going to do is now we're going to close the registry back off. So let's go back and close these back. So I just like to keep things a little bit tidy. So let's just go back and shut these back and then unload the hive. So I'm going to do this right here and go back to where it says file and unload hive. And this is because the hive has been loaded and we need to unload it. Otherwise, it's going to be stuck in your registry. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to say unload hive and say yes. We sure we want to unload it. And we can now close off the registry editor. And what we can do is exit out of uh, our command prompt here. So let's go ahead and click exit. And what we can do now is continue to Windows 11. This also works with Windows 10 as well. And during the boot up process, what will happen is it will ask you to enter your PIN now or enter your password. Now, obviously, you would need to know your PIN and password. The only reason you couldn't enter it before is because it was giving you that error code. 
but the error code is now gone, but you can see here you've got a sign-in option of password and PIN. If you have forgotten your PIN or your password, you would need to reset your PIN and password, and I've made a video on how to do that. But this video is to show you how to get back to a point where you can enter your PIN. So all you'd need to do here now is enter the PIN and click enter, and it will then take you to your desktop. And you can then reset and reconfigure your PIN in your sign-in options. I'd advise you to create a new one and reset it. That way you will have not have this problem again. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. That's basically how you can fix, I can't log into Windows 11 or Windows 10. Something happened and your PIN isn't available. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.